Hello do-it-yourselfers, my name is Terry Peterman and I am the Internet Electrician. This is the next segment in my video series about understanding your home's electrical system. In this series, I walk you through each circuit. We talk about the breaker size, the type, the wire used, and right down to the end devices so you'll have a complete understanding of how things work and how to deal with situations that might arise. Take a few minutes and watch the other videos in this series and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be the first to know when I post new videos here and on the website at electrical-online.com. Now let's get started. This circuit is another 20 amp, 120 volt. It's labeled D Disposal. Let's find out what that's all about. So the breaker marked D Disposal, I'm assuming feeds this receptacle here underneath the sink. It would feed the dishwasher and the garbage disposal unit, or the insincorator as some call it. And in Canada we call it a garburator. It's plugged into the top half of this receptacle. The bottom half is live all the time. And that's where the dishwasher is cord connected to. So I've unplugged the dishwasher, plugged in our plug tester. We're going to go shut off the power. And then we're going to investigate the further components of this circuit, which should be 12-2. 12 gauge wire, 2 conductor, feeding the switch up on the kitchen counter and then from there it should feed down to this receptacle and we'll explain that, verify that we do have 12 gauge wire throughout this circuit. The devices on this circuit should be a single pole switch and then this receptacle that is split and then of course the cord connected devices being the dishwasher and the disposal unit. We'll look here for any problems inside the receptacle, worn receptacle, any bad terminations in the receptacle, any possible bad connections, and uh, anything else that could go wrong in this circuit would just only be with cabling between the devices. So let's check it out. We'll go shut off the power. So here's the two gang box that that circuit should feed directly into with the 12 2 wire. And that's the switch on the right here. That's the one for the disposal unit. As you see, the disposal does not turn on when I turn it on now, so let's take apart this box and make sure that we have the components of this circuit that we should have. So I've taken apart this two-gang box, and it's not wired exactly how I expected it would be. What they've done is they've run the 12-2 wire down into the receptacle box below the sink. Then they've ran a switch leg drop up here to the switch using a 12-2 NMD90, so a black and a white conductor, but they've labeled or identified the white as a hot conductor by taping it off with black tape all the way here. So we've just got a switch leg drop. I'll show you how that works underneath the counter. But the electrician that wired this house, if you watch the washing machine video, and I'm sure many of the others, we're going to find the same thing where they've wrapped the wire the wrong way, counterclockwise around the screw terminals. Now with a close up here on the ground terminal, you can see that this one is actually pushed away from the connection. So I'm going to fix that and then we're going to go down below and see if the splices are made correctly and any other problems we might find down below the sink. So I've taken apart the receptacle down here below the sink and this is not an easy place to work on. That's why I would have rather run the power to the switch first just because there's more splices to be made down here so the simpler you can make things working under a kitchen sink the better off you are. But anyway some things I like about how they've wired this. They uh, used an extension ring. That's a good thing because your box is going to end up being recessed way back in the wall behind the cabinet. So they've done the right thing, used an extension ring right here. As you can see up here, the power came in on a black and white. The neutrals are all spliced together over here. Here they've got the hot wires spliced to one pigtail going to the bottom half of the receptacle. And the other one being spliced to a white wire which they've identified as a hot and that goes up to the switch on the white comes back on the black wire to the other half of the receptacle and you can see how they've split that receptacle here so the bottom half stays hot for the dishwasher the top half is switched then for the disposal unit so I like how they've done this and I see that these terminations have been made correctly and the wires wrap around the screws in a clockwise fashion Good to see. I suspect what may have happened in this house is that uh, one of the more junior men did some of the simpler connections to receptacles and the journeyman 
or the boss man on the job did the, the tougher splices such as this one because these are made correctly, properly, and I'm glad they are because I don't want to change them down here under the sink. So that's the end of chasing down that circuit right from the breaker marked D disposal. So that would be dishwasher and disposal unit. Fed with a 20 amp breaker, single pole breaker using 12 2 wire and it's run first to the junction box or the receptacle box underneath the sink where it then fed up to a switch leg drop for the disposal unit back down split the receptacle top half switched for the disposal bottom half for the dishwasher only things that can really go wrong on a circuit such as this is the breaker connections in the panel maybe something to go wrong with the cable the splices we had a few splices down there under the sink I checked those and made sure they were snug and done properly and then connections again at the devices which I found a couple problems on the switch but thankfully under the sink everything was made correctly. So there you go, components, breaker, wire, a receptacle and a switch in this circuit and a few splices. Thanks for tuning in, make sure you subscribe to my channel, I update things quite regularly and add new videos so if you subscribe you're going to be the first to know when there's new information here on YouTube and on the website at electrical-online.com. I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, thanks for tuning in.